Hi students, welcome back to Chem or Chem. So in this JE Chemistry Insight series, we have been exploring the solution for previous year JE main chemistry exam papers. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. So if you are preparing for JE main exam, so you are in the right place. Let's see what today's problem. So this is the question from JE main 2025. So as per this question, we have an unknown alkyl bromide which reacts with magnesium in triether and followed by react with water to produce 2-methylbutane as a final product. So here we need to find the maximum number of structural isomers of alkyl bromide that can result in this 2-methylbutane product. So here you see there are four options are given. Let's solve together which one is the correct option for this question. So let's see briefly about this reaction mechanism. So here we are dealing with Grignard reaction. So here you see alkyl bromide reacts with magnesium in dry ether to form Grignard reagent. So this Grignard reagent react with water that produce this 2-methylbutane. So now you closely look this Grignard region. So now we should compare the electronegativity values of magnesium and carbon. So when you compare the electronegativity difference, so carbon has more electronegative power, therefore that get delta negative charge. So in case of magnesium get delta positive charge and similarly you should compare the electronegativity difference between magnesium and bromide. So bromine has more electronegative power therefore that get delta negative charge and similarly here also see so this oxygen has more electronegative power than hydrogen so therefore oxygen get delta negative in case of two hydrogen atom get delta positive character so now you see so this R group coming with electron that takes the hydrogen atom from water so resulting that kick of hydroxide ion which produce alkane as a product along with this magnesium byproduct. Now we need to find all possible structural isomers of alkyl bromide that after the Grignard reaction and react with water will give us 2-methylbutane. Here is 2-methylbutane. Now let's think backwards to get this product the R group in alkyl bromide must have been the same carbon skeleton as 2-methylbutane. So we need to figure out where the bromine atom could have been attached. So here you see, so this is the 4 carbon chain, the second carbon has methyl group. So now you start the numbering. So this is the first carbon, so here second carbon, this one is a third carbon and this one is the fourth carbon. So now you consider if fourth carbon has bromine atom, so that would give us 4-bromo-2-methylbutane. So now you work towards Grignard region formation when 4-bromo-2-methylbutane react with magnesium in triether that produce this Grignard reagent. So this Grignard reagent react with water that ultimately to produce 2-methylbutane as a final product. So therefore, so this is the first possibilities of the generation of 2-methylbutane. So let's moving on. So now you consider again 2-methylbutane and start the numbering. So now you imagine if third carbon has bromine atom, for example, that produce 3-promo-2-methylbutane. So again, which react with magnesium in triether, that could produce this corresponding Grignard reagent. When this Grignard reagent react with water, that exactly produce 2-methylbutane. Therefore, this is, th this is our 
second possibility is and now think about if second carbon has bromine substituent so which ultimately 2 bromo 2 methyl butane so this 2 bromo 2 methyl butane if react with magnesium in triether that produce this Grignard reagent so this Grignard reagent react with water that exactly produce 2 methyl butane as a final product therefore this is our third alkyl bromide so let's moving on so again redraw 2 methyl butane structure so just to start the numbering so now you imagine if first carbon has bromine substituent so which is 1 bromo 2 methyl butane so which react with magnesium in triether that produce this Grignard reagent this Grignard reagent react with water that produce 2 methyl butane as a our final product so this is our fourth alkyl bromide okay let's think about if we place bromine on this carbon so you just redraw the structure like this so here you start the numbering from here so this is the first carbon second carbon third carbon as well as this one is the fourth carbon so it's essentially this both structures are same therefore we don't count that as new isomer so therefore here only the four possible alkyl bromide that eventually end up with 2 methyl butane after the magnesium in triether reaction and followed by water reaction which produce 2 methyl butane let's moving to the our question so as per our discussion these four alkyl bromide that could react with magnesium in triether and followed by water that eventually to produce 2 methyl butane as a product so therefore among the four answers the correct option for this question is option 2 so apart from this key takeaway from this reaction so first one is Grignard reagent are formed by reacting alkyl halide with magnesium in triether so they could react with water to form alkane to solve this type of questions work backwards from the product to identify possible starting materials and finally if you found this explanation helpful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to chem or chem for much more je main content so don't forget to leave your question in comments below and keep practicing bye bye